Alright, you guys, back with part two. Like I said, back like I left something. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, Martin Catman, I don't think we'll ever see him be a champion. Uh, you know, I don't like doubting fighters or counting them out, but I just don't think we'll ever see him be a champion no matter what, just because of, um, his ability to, uh, absorb so much punishment in, in, in the process of trying to win the fight. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, man, I, um, I gotta go with Paulo Thiago, you know, he's, to me, he's just, he's just a, um, man, he's just a, you know, he's just a, uh, <laughs> he's a force, man, you know what I mean, um, he's, He's a pretty, you know, he's pretty impressive from what I've seen so far. So I got to go with him. Uh, but Pat Berry and um, Krokop, um, man, I really would like to see Krokop come back and do his thing in his fight. Uh, you know, prove a lot of the doubters wrong and uh, include my myself uh, in a way. But uh, I still believe in him, and I still think he, uh, Krokop has what it takes to, uh, to win this fight. But this fight can go either way. I really don't know who to pick. Um, like I said, uh, you know, uh, Crow Cop, man, it just goes back to one of the videos I did, you know what I mean? Uh, like, uh, guys, they look great in pride, and when they come over to UFC, they, they don't look so good, man. And like I said, I just think a lot of that has to do with, uh, you know, in performance enhancement, you know what I mean? I, I just think a lot of guys were all that over there in pride, you know, because you see the way, you obviously see the way they, uh, perform over there in pride and when it comes to the UFC I don't give a damn about what people are talking about oh it's octagon they don't they're not used to the octagon it's, it's ring man listen if you're uh, if you're a fighter a real fighter you can fight anywhere you know an octagon would not it would it won't affect me a ring won't affect look I can fight anywhere and believe me when I tell you I can fight <laughs> but um nah man um <clears throat> Like I say, man, um, I got a lot of faith in Crow Cop. I want to see him bounce back and do his thing. He's always going to be one of my favorite fighters. And um, I just want him to come back and prove people wrong, man, if he still has it in him. And I believe in him. But uh, like I say, that that being said, uh, I think I think uh, the only way he wins this fight is if he goes in there and he lets it all loose, man. He put, lays it all on the line. He fights with no fear. And, and to me, he has to fight ruthless, man. He has to fight ruthless, man, like like his life depended on it. Because Pat Berry is a very tough guy, man. And I think the only way Pat Berry can win this fight is by first-round knockout or, or TKO. But I think um, uh, this fight ends up uh, going to the uh, uh, to a decision. I think it goes in Crow Cop's uh, favor. But uh, I think this fight, if Crow Cop wins it, it'll be over in the third round. You know, um, maybe a late uh, third-round TKO stoppage. But... Uh, Pat Berry also has what it takes to uh, to win this fight, but I believe he has what it takes to win this fight in the first round. If not, Crow Cop will whoop his ass. So um, I got to go with Crow Cop. All right, the main event, Chuck the Iceman Liddell versus Rich Ace Franklin. Man, am I excited to see this fight. Two of my favorite fighters getting ready to go at it. I can't say I'm not disappointed, but, uh, again, this video is going to go into uh, a second uh, a second part uh I mean, sorry about that, you guys. A third part. <laughs> a third part. Um, so, you guys stay tuned, you know, but I'm going to keep talking until it uh, turns off. It may have already cut off, but uh, like I say, I'm going to jump right into uh, this fight, man. Um, I'm very excited to see these two get back in the cage. Unfortunately, it just sucks that it has to be against each other. You know, um, man. I, I, man, just the thought of it, man. One of these guys losing again man get another loss it it just you know it just is disturbing you know what i mean but uh that being said i i'm leaning more towards chuck he is um more of my favorite fighter than rich but rich is still one of my favorite fighters and he will always be um chuck liddell no matter how much he gets knocked out or uh, get a, a a ko that makes it look like he's dead i gotta i gotta i gotta i gotta go with him man you know i think that um uh, I just think that uh, Chuck Liddell, he has something to prove, man. I, I've seen him, man. He looks ready. He looks in shape. He doesn't talk. You know, he doesn't have that slur anymore. <laughs> he's got, he got, he's gotten a lot of things together, man. He's given up some partying, some drinking, and and I can tell, man. Just hopefully it pays off in the octagon. And um, like this fight can really go either way, man. You know, um, back in the day, I would never would have uh, picked Chuck to get knocked out, but since he's been knocked out so much recently. Anything can happen, man. You know, Rich Franklin can land land a big right hand or a big left hand and knock Chuck out or, or a big head kick. Um, anything can happen, man. Um, 